Hi, this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our video today, we are going to look at how you can determine the radius of a light. I guess now without any further ado, let's get into things. So the problem reads, find the radius of the following latitudes in both kilometers and nanometers. So now this one actually denotes the latitude that we are looking at which is 60 degrees north. So if we have, let's say, the Earth, and then we have the equator, and then we also have a latitude which is in the northern hemisphere, which is 60 degrees north. That could be the latitude that we may be looking at, or that's the latitude that we are looking at, which is 60 degrees north. And they say determine its of radius so how would you determine this radius so you make use of the following uh, equation so radius of the latitude is given by the radius of the f cos theta so now theta denotes the actual latitude that we are looking at so that's 60 degrees now so let me do this i collected data for you data Theta is actually the, the latitude we are looking at, so that's 60 degrees now. Then R is actually the radius of the Earth. So now radius of the Earth is given by 6370 kilometers. So now <clears throat> the, the, the radius of the Earth can either be given in kilometers or nautical miles. So those are units, two different units in which you can record the radius of the Earth. So now, radius of the Earth in nautical miles is 34.37 nautical miles. Then you also need to know that one nautical mile equates to 1.853 kilometers. So now with all these in place, we can now determine the radius of, of the latitude, 60 degrees north, by simply plugging in these values in the equation. So radius of the latitude is equal to, we are resolving this in kilometers, so that would be 63, 70, then cos 60 degrees. So now radius of the earth, is you simply punch these on the calculator that's 63 70 cos 60 degrees so now that one gives me 3185 kilometers so that's 3185 kilometers how about in nautical miles so in nautical miles we'll say a radius of this latitude is equal to we will pick on this value which is in nautical miles 34 37 cos 60 degrees so radius of the latitude is equal to simply say 34 37 cos 60 that gives me 1000 okay 718.5 nautical miles so we're done with the first one let's move on to the second one so this one will be more like consolidation so that you're able to do things on your own okay so we well know that uh, the radius of the earth <clears throat> is 6370 in kilometers then in nautical miles that's 3437 actually now let's do this what's the radius of this latitude so you say the radius of the latitude is given by r cos theta so capital r denotes capital r denotes the radius of the earth so radius of the latitude is equal to that one is 63 70 this one here then of course we plug in the latitude under consideration at five degrees so 
radius of the latitude is 63.70 cos 35. So that gives me 5217.998. If we were to round off this one, of course there are other digits up out there, but my focus is rounding off these two to decimal places. So this one will increase by one since this one is greater than five. So this one will become a 10. We'll get a one, we'll add it to this one, 10 again. So this one will become eight. So that's 5218 kilometers. 5,218 kilometers. Let's move on. Uh, let's now resolve that in nautical miles. That's the radius of the latitude in nautical miles. So in nautical miles, uh, radius will equal to, that's the radius of the earth, cos theta. So radius of the earth is equal to, so we'll pick on this one, which is nautical miles. 3437 cos the latitude that's 35 degrees. So R is equal to we punch 3437 cos 35. So I find 28 15.4255. We round off this one to two decimal places, the two will become a three. Nautical miles. So friends, that's how we go about these things. As simple as they are, that's how you actually determine the radius of any given latitude. For the sake of tracing my channel, make sure that you follow it or you subscribe. And then make sure you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I go live or anytime I post a video, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.